Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download, set up, and use three of the top VPNs currently on the market. And those are this one here, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Now the first step is to pick a VPN, and I'll discuss a little bit later the differences between these three. But once you've picked one, you can go to the website and I'll have discount links in the description down below that will take you directly to the page that you need to get to, and will also give you a little bit of an extra discount along the way. And once you're there, just sign up and download the app, and then you should have something like what I've got in front of me here. Now, in order to use the VPN, all you have to do is click on this location bar here, and you'll have a window open up with a bunch of locations. In case you didn't know, Express has 105 countries to choose from, NordVPN has 111, and Surfshark has 100. And once we're here, we can go to the All tab and have access to all of those 105 countries, or we can just search for one. So let's say Japan, click on it, and then you'll see we'll be connecting to a server in Japan. And now all our data is being secured by the VPN and routed through a server in Tokyo. So that makes it really hard for anybody to track you down. Plus, it'll make it seem as if you're in Tokyo when you're using the Internet. So, for example, if you wanted to access the Netflix library that's only available in Japan, if we actually went to Netflix now and signed in, the website would think that we're in Japan and give us access to that library of content. And the same would hold true for any streaming platform such as Disney Plus or Amazon Prime Video. And with Surfshark, it's pretty much the same thing. You have a list of countries here. We can click on one and then you'll see in the right side panel that we'll be connecting. And once we're connected, we're going to have all this live information about our connection. Now with NordVPN, it's a little cooler because we have this interactive map interface where we can just click on any of these locations and connect to a server there. But we also have a list if we go to this panel and click more connection options and we scroll down and we'll have the list here. So downloading and setting up a VPN is pretty straightforward, but knowing how to get the most out of it for your specific needs can take a little bit of know-how. So for example, let's say you're using a VPN in order to stream content. You want to make sure that you have the fastest speed. But in order to get the best speeds, you may need to adjust a setting called protocols. So let's go and find the protocol setting. So in ExpressVPN, it'll be here in the options bar in the protocols tab. In NordVPN, it will be here in the settings in the connections at the top over here. And in Surfshark, it will also be in the settings and in VPN settings. And then we scroll down and here we have protocols. And with all these three VPNs, you're going to have the option that is more specific to that VPN. And then you're also going to have the OpenVPN protocol. Now, the OpenVPN protocol is a bit older and may be more compatible in certain situations. But in general, I would suggest going with the one that is specific to that VPN. So with Express, it would be Lightweight UDP. With Surfshark, it would be the WireGuard protocol over here. With NordVPN, it would be the NordLynx protocol. And by having this protocol selected, you'll ensure that you'll always get the fastest speeds so you'll have the best streaming experience. But all three of them also have an automatic option, so you can always just select that and it will choose what it thinks is the best one for you. Another feature that's useful to know if you're going to be streaming is the split tunneling feature. And this can be found in the general tab in ExpressVPN over here by split tunneling. It can be found in NordVPN by going back to the settings and it'll be right here, split tunneling. And then in Surfshark, it will be down here and it's what's called the bypasser. Now, what this does in all three of these is allow you to choose exactly what you want the VPN connected to. So again, if you're going to be using a VPN for streaming and you want to connect to a country other than the one that you live in, but on the other hand, you're doing something else that needs to know your exact physical location, by using the split tunneling feature, you can set it so that the VPN will only be connected to the browser or application that you're streaming with, and you don't necessarily have to have everything that you're using connected to the VPN. And lastly, if you're going to be using a VPN for security, maybe you're torrenting or you're using a public Wi-Fi connection, which is not necessarily the most secure, you can use the kill switch feature. So that will be over here in NordVPN and it will be right here called the Network Lock in Express. And if we go back, it will be right here in Surfshark. And this disconnects your internet connection if the VPN ever stops working. So if you're going to be torrenting or on a public Wi-Fi connection, you'll ensure that you're always using the internet together with your VPN, keeping your data extra safe. Now, the last thing to talk about here is which VPN should you choose? Now, my number one recommendation overall is ExpressVPN because it's just the easiest and simplest to use while at the same time offering really high level features 
and an impressive amount of countries to connect to. It also has the best track record in terms of reliability and trustworthiness because it has the most independent audits from outside companies of any of these three. After that, I recommend NordVPN because while there is a little bit more of a learning curve with NordVPN, it does offer the most advanced features of any VPN. And lastly, I would recommend Surfshark because it is the best budget option. It has the most competitive prices, but at the same time doesn't sacrifice on any of the features you would expect from a top level VPN. So that's all for me, guys. I hope you found this useful. Thanks so much for watching. And again, if you want to find out more about these VPNs or if you want to try them out, you'll find full reviews plus discount links in the description down below. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.